everyone. Thank you for joining. It's Melissa from Holistic Energy Healing. Hope you are doing wonderful on this um, Friday fall afternoon. And uh, sorry if you hear a little pitter patter. That's my dog. He's walking around. So I'm coming to you from my kitchen um, in Cornwall on Hudson, New York. I'm not in my studio. Um, so yeah, working from home today. So I decided that I, I'm going to do this from my kitchen. And so you might be wondering why in my kitchen does Melissa have all of her herbal and aromatic books? Um, primarily because I have a small apartment and this is the only good spot to keep all my books. <laughs> um, but it's also because when I'm in the kitchen working on recipes or needing to look up information, I could just come and grab them and sit at my table and just study and do whatever I have to do. So um, I'm going to wait a hot second just to see if anybody else joins in. Um, Again, sorry for the dog barking. I put the cats away, but I, I put the dog away, but he clearly needed some attention. Um, so, let's see. So, yeah, so I'll get started. Um, just want to make sure that I can see everybody as they chime in. Okay, because I'm on my iPad, so. All right. So, yeah, so I, I wanted to do a little something for Friday um, in honor of the one year anniversary of um, the amazing herbal team that uh, helped keep the remedy of fire cider, you know, medicine for the people. And so um, if you Google trade traditions and not trademark, you will come across the four amazing women plus the, the legal team that fought really hard against another company in regards to trademarking the name Fire Cider. And so um, I also just wanted to share with you this really great book that Rosemary Gladstar put together, an, an amazing uh, grandmother of verbalism. Um, it's called Fire Cider, 101 Healthy Boosting Remedies um, from all herbalists from all over the globe. Um, and this is also a super fun book. Um, it's great to see how people um, tweak the fire cider to meet their needs and so there's a bunch of other recipes here too with the base foundation of what fire cider entails um if you don't know what fire cider is fire cider is, is sort of a, a remedy it's a tonic that really helps um warm the body you know support the gut support the immune system um it really allows for um especially during this time right we're starting to get a little sluggish um it's fall i'm sorry my dog is like squeaking um let me just ask my son really quick to grab him. Hey, Papito. Can you grab Nader, please? Sorry, live. I'm not sure what's happening with my dog. Um, okay, so hopefully my son will come and grab him. So, so yeah, so during this time, right, you can get sluggish. You're, you probably are eating a lot of, like, high-carb sort of related foods, like pasta and breads and all the good stuff that I love. Um, and so this really helps fight, you know, infections. It helps with the, the like I said, the gut system to stay strong and, 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 and keep you healthy. Um, so the fire cider recipe that Rosemary Gladstar uses, um, I, you know, it's so funny cause I am not someone who likes warming stuff, but I do appreciate it. And so with Rosemary Gladstone's recipe, she uses horse, horse radish, I can never say that, um, onions and garlic and, and um, let's see, cayenne and, and, and things like that. I actually do not like horse radish. I tried this original recipe using exactly what she said and uh, it just didn't sit well with me. Um, so I'm gonna do something a little different. So her recipe, so that you have it, if not, definitely get the book. It's half a cup of grated horseradish root, half a cup or a little bit more of a half a cup of chopped onions, um, a half a quarter cup of chopped garlic, and a quarter cup of grated ginger with a little cayenne pepper to taste. Um, obviously using apple cider vinegar as the menstruum and, uh, oh, and honey to taste after you decant it and strain out the uh, raw ingredients. And so um, I actually did one on Wednesday, I think it was. So this is my, my rendition on Wednesday. 
Um, I don't know if you could see it, but I actually have lemon slices in here. I only put, I think, three. All the ingredients are organic. Um, what else? Oh, and I don't have the horseradish. And I did put ah, turmeric, because I love turmeric. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory, right? And so for this recipe that I'm going to do with you guys today, I am going to um, use a 24-ounce mason jar. Um, I'm going to use some oranges, some turmeric, some ginger, and some garlic. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to start putting it all together. I'm going. So I have the onions. I already pre-chopped the onions because you know these things make me cry and. Doing this on, on film doesn't really look good, so I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and put all that in. Put that in. And this onion is, um, I think the first time I did this, I used sweet onion, because um, I like sweet onion, um, and it was just way too sweet, especially after you added the honey. Um, I, I'm, I'm finding that I like to have a balance. I don't want it too sweet, I don't want it too hot. Um, sort of like a happy medium for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all that in there. I'm gonna put the orange slices also in like this. Boop, boop, get it in there. So, all right, and I'm just gonna chop up all my other stuff. Um, so, so yeah, so as I chop this, I'll just chit chat a little bit. So, um, as some of you may know, I do have a retail location in Cornwall, New York. Um, probably like five minutes from where I actually live. Um, you know, opened up a week before COVID and then subsequently had to close down. Um, and I decided that I will be closing my doors for good. Um, for, I was aiming for December 31st, but honestly, I think I'm just going to close like two weeks before Christmas. Because um, there's really probably going to not be any traffic coming through the area. And it just doesn't really make sense to, to sort of stay open if nothing is really happening. Um, but I'm gonna honor my lease because that's the right thing to do. And so my lease does expire February 1st. So I'm just going to use the time um, to just clean up, sell all my displays um, that I love. <laughs> I uh, bought a lot of them from Wayfair. Um, super easy to assemble. Light, you know, the, the furniture isn't really heavy. Um, and then, yeah, and then just, you know, wish, the new tenants, if new tenants do come in, you know, many blessings. Um, the previous tenant to the space that I'm renting actually left um, outside. Uh, it's like a little metal bell with like, it looks like a, a, a bird of some sort. And so I'm gonna leave that for the new tenants. Um, you know, I'm just a believer. I'm just passing on the good, good stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna focus solely on my website. Um, really push that. I don't know if you've been seeing it, but I've been sort of doing some Facebook ads just to sort of play with it. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking an online digital marketing course just so that I have um, a better grasp of digital marketing. Um, so yeah, so that's, oh, just let you know, Tumark does leave your fingers a uh, little orangey. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, I miss seeing people face to face, of course, um, but it's just, it is what it is, right? It's the time that we live in right now. And so hoping maybe by spring, um, one thing that I never wanted to do, but I think it might be a good thing for me to do now that the store will be closing and I'll have my weekends free again, um, is to maybe once like, craft events, or not so much craft events, but once the outdoor events open up, I'm thinking of maybe doing some that, you know, are very relevant to what I do. Um, and so I do vegan body care products and elderberry syrup, um, definitely getting into more to tonics and, and uh, took a course, an online course, um, like a mixology, herbology, mixology course for learning herbs. And that was really fun. Um, what else? Yeah, I've just been sort of keeping busy, you know, um, hoping that the coaching aspect of the business takes off as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it goes from there. So. Um, so I chopped up the turmeric, I chopped up the garlic, I chopped up the ginger. Okay, now I'm gonna put in um, a half, what is this, a half tablespoon of organic cayenne pepper, um, fresh that I just got from my local health food store. Um, sprinkle it there, I got the orange slices in there already with the onions, and so. 
put in the Vermont Village apple cider vinegar. This, actually, this comes from New England, so it's, you know, um, Rosemary lives in Vermont. Um, I actually, you can find these at cost, no, BJ's. I shop at BJ's. Um, they sell them in a twin pack for like eight bucks or something. So I grabbed a few just because <laughs> I get really excited when I see something. Then I'm like, oh, you know, I can use that for my stuff. And I'll just buy a whole bunch and keep it on the shelf and use it. So all you're going to do is just pour it all over your um, chopped goodness. Let it settle for a little bit. Make sure it all goes in. It looks pretty good. Um, the other thing too with apple cider vinegar is, you know, if you use a metal, sorry, if you use a metal closure, like the mason jars would you come with these, uh, you know, caps and stuff, you can use them, just put wax paper so that the, uh, the acid doesn't like rust the metal. But I actually found these at Walmart, I think, um, just plastic. And so cover it up and just shake it, shake it, shake it. And so... What you'll do is you'll keep it in a dry, um, you know, like a, like a cupboard or something like that, something that's dry and, and uh, away from the sun and things like that. Keep it for three to four weeks. Um, I actually keep it above my sink because I'm always at the sink washing dishes, right? And um, I easily can just open up the cabinet and shake it. And so every day I'll go by, maybe once or twice, and I'll shake it, I'll give it some attention, give it some love, ask it to nourish. Um, whoever's going to taste the, the uh, fire cider. Um, and that's pretty much that. I mean, it's, it's, I think that, you know, the, the interesting part with, with all these like herbal remedies and stuff is that it does take some time. So you have to wait three to four weeks. Um, I typically like to do things on moon cycles. One, because I love the energy of the moon, but also it's just a good reminder for me. Oh, a new moon. I have to then, you know, decant my, uh, <laughs> my, my uh, remedy, whatever it is that I'm making. So, um, so no moon, no full moon action going on here, but I will label them and make sure that um, I remember three to four weeks of decant. And so this one, like I said, had lemon slices. This one has orange slices. Um, I just did it just to sort of sweeten it up a little bit because like I said earlier, I don't really like um, hot, hot stuff. I'm not a spicy kind of girl, um, even though some people might think I am spicy, but I'm really not. Um, and I want it to try to see if it's going to taste any different with lemon and with orange. Um, I've seen some people, and, and like, you know, in the book, the Fire Cider book, there was a whole lot of different recipes. You know, people use elderberries. Um, I've seen rose hips. Sorry, all the phones started ringing, so the broadcast was interrupted. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Follow me on Facebook, The Holistic Energy Healing. Follow me on Insta, at Holistic Chakra, underscore Chakra, Holistic underscore Chakra. Um, those are the, my two main social media platforms that I use. Um, what else? I am going to, so as you see, I've been doing some weekly ads just to sort of, you know, play around with that, build up my audience, build up my email list. Um, I, am, I do send out a, a monthly newsletter. And this month I actually sent out two because I wanted to share my sopa de pollo um, soup that I like to make when the weather starts to get a little warm, uh, a little cool, I'm sorry. Um, what else? I will be sending out my November newsletter shortly with the recipe, um, with the link to the video, um, and with store hours for November because I will have special shopping hours due to the holidays. Uh, what else? I don't know. Hit me up with an email, theholisticenergyhealing at gmail.com if you have any questions. Um, I'd love to talk to you, so whatever works, let me know. All right, then you guys, you have a great rest of the afternoon and have a fantastic weekend and uh, enjoy your fire cider. Let me know how it goes. Oh, and if you make a batch of fire cider, Insta, put it on Instagram with a picture, tag me in it, and then use uh, the uh, hashtag, hashtag holistic underscore fire cider. All right, until then, bye guys. Thanks, see you later. <laughs>